This one is from Cliff Haynes. Hey, Cliff. This past week has been fun. Keep it clean, fun. Cliff. Keep it clean. Not really. Um, I locked up Windows and had to reformat four times. Needless Ouch. to say, Ubuntu also went out the window as well. Had most of the important stuff backed up on another machine. Good, good. Just the aggravation of being um, a noob, as always. LOL. Here's the problem. Sign and screen is screwy. And maybe you can pull this one up, Robbie. He's giving oh, okay. you um, some details. Surely. He wants to know how to, how did he manage to get uh, the information that you'll okay, see Okay, we're there. looking at the, the <laughs> Grub boot screen. All right, we're looking at Clifford, uh, Clifford Haynes' email here. Okay, so Clifford has uh, got some updates on his computer. And when he turns on his computer, he's greeted with all the kernels like this. Way to go for actually typing that in for me. How did I manage to get that? Doesn't make any difference which line of Ubuntu I use. They all seem to work, etc., uh, etc. Et right down to the desktop. Windows boots up fine. So does Ubuntu. The system is a compact Presario. Uh, so the rest of it, um, what's happening there is that you've run an update and you've got the latest version of your kernel. So you'll see here that the first one, okay, Recovery mode is like your command prompt, so that if you ever have a mess up, you want to have recovery mode because that lets you access the computer. You'll see the kernel version here. Kernel version of the first one on the list is 2.6.24-19-generic. Then you see the next one up from that is dash 22-generic. So what's happened there is that you've run your updates and Ubuntu has given you the latest kernel. So all that's happening is, is that your old kernel is still being displayed on the grub menu when you first turn on your computer. So in your case, if you want to get rid of that, you don't want to run the old kernel if, if the new kernel is working for you. It's still there so that you can if you need to. Uh, but essentially, all your stuff is updated, so you want to be able to, you know, you want to use the latest, latest version of the kernel. So essentially, what you need to do if you want to only uh, show one kernel is use the how many command uh, in your grub so, uh, menu.list file. The way we're going to do that, let's see, we're just going to hit Alt F2 as the quick uh, GUI way to do it. Alt F2 brings up a run dialog, and we're going to go uh, gk sudo slash uh, gedit slash, uh, I think it's boot grub menu dot lst or list. Let's try that one first. It's going to ask you for your password because we use gk sudo. That's going to bring up gedit. No, I must have had the file name wrong, I think. I always get confused with Synaptic's pa uh, app list. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there's that gray out thing. Unless it is loading. Unfortunately, my demo system is, this is one of the things that we eventually want to upgrade, Carrie, because mm -hmm. um, the demo system, I'm running the virtual machine right now, and it's really not souped up for that. Okay. So, so what's the gray, the gray out That's when the you? system is out of resources and it's waiting. It's oh, waiting okay. to, uh, let's just double check. I think it's just, yeah, okay. So leave out the I and list. That should have been menu.lst. And once that's up, then you're going to see your grub uh, boot file. Um, you see here. You can scroll through and read the comments if you like and, and learn a little bit about Grub. I'm sure it's in here. Yeah, there, how, how many equals all. Um, take that how many equals all, remove the number sign at the beginning, which makes it a comment, and change that to one. And once you've done that, save the file. Remember that you had to have done this with GK sudo or sudo if you're in the terminal. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be allowed access to saving this file. So how many equals one is going to only show one uh, kernel version when you boot your computer. Once you've done that, you need to run sudo space update dash grub from your terminal. And what that's going to do is it's going to update your grub menu, and then next time you boot up, you should only have one. And that's going to continue on. So uh, as you get new updates and new updates and new updates to your system, uh, you're going to only see one kernel, even if it's the newer version. That should work for you. And as I always say, let us know. Right.